deals, oh, negotiate, yeah, yeah, yeah. permits, all that stuff. Nice. And he does the creative stuff. And I, I, I do some of the creative, like I do some writing and stuff sure, too. But sure. Yeah. That's brilliant. It's a little contribution, like from this corner of, that I, of the world that I live in here. Yeah. Um, but it's been so rich for me to hear the response from so many others of what kind of value they're finding. When I first started, <laughs> it was an interesting way that it started. It started on a couple of fronts. One, my friends, my close friends, have been like really pushing for a while, saying, "Binium, you need to get your, you need to get your perspectives online somehow. They they could really benefit others." And then. Um, I think the thing that pushed me over the point of decision was hearing from so many, like so many of my uh, rides that, that I was on, on Uber, mm -hmm. with them saying this has been, thank you by the way, the, 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 the same things like this has been the most impacting or the, the best experience I've ever had, ever had, and they were just like so adamant about it. And so I've, on, I've only been driving for a year and a half. Now I understand I have a lot I'm bringing to from my past experiences, of course. But I was just thinking, I would really, like if this is something so impacting for so many of my riders, what would it look like for me maybe to start not telling how, but just modeling to other drivers potentially? Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm doing. Here's why I love what I, what I do and why I'm finding it so like amazing. And so along those lines, that's my initial, you know, um, threshold and starting to post videos but it's just expanded so um, exponentially mm -hmm. um, to many who aren't even gosh, most of my my viewers aren't even r drivers you know um, they're just they're they're familiar with the app and they, they, they've had their own experiences and s many also don't have access to Uber wherever they are living around the world mm -hmm. but the very heart of it is I think the part that they're resonating with is how can I do what you're doing mm -hmm. to be able to have these experiences that are worthwhile yeah. these conversations that are um, unexpected but still good you know and so that's been really really encouraging for me to see too cool yeah nice. how did you and your friend embark on your uh, creation and your con contribution together so him and I have been friends for a long time like mm -hmm. we met in college and uh, just through I mean nice. we were doing kind of music at the time at yeah. first like, yeah. and then after you know we still were friends and he went and finished his school and I finished my school and then the, you know the crazy thing is the iPhone came out the right. iPhone was invented and he started shooting photos just on his iPhone just okay. messing around yeah yeah and he turns out he's really good at it he yeah. then started taking photography classes and all this kind of stuff and yeah. like graduated to like real cameras yeah and like started shooting work and then he's like okay well let's try to see if we can do something a little more so we started reaching out to companies and like he got he, like his Instagram so Instagram's kind of weird because he had a really yeah. pop in Instagram for yeah. a while yeah. and then it got hacked by accident and like Instagram like disabled it so it's yeah. in he's in the process of getting it back he has a new one now I'll give you a link to that but and so people started hitting him up based off his work on his first Instagram okay and that led to some corporate gigs and stuff oh, too okay. and then from there we just kind of expanded into like doing like short films and like commercials and that yeah. kind of stuff and, yeah yeah that's brilliant yeah it's these kind of friendships that I find it's the, the university years or like the 18 to like 25 year year range yeah. where a lot of our long standing friendships are cemented right yeah. it's like yeah I agree it's so weird because like we met completely by fluke like it wasn't even <laughs> it just by fluke yeah. we met and yeah. it, he's like my, probably my closest friend like yeah. I've known him over a decade and a half yeah. now like yeah. we're back so far right yeah. Like, yeah. yeah that's brilliant yeah oh. I think it's because there's a lot that we experience together in our evolution of I don't know growing up into growing up into uh, yes Uber sends us these little prompts if we stay in one place for a long time saying hey is everything okay just checking in yeah. <laughs> we're okay um, yeah so I think it's that season of life that we experience together where it's like learning how to be responsible with our time and freedom and responsibility all like there's ways that we are are learning our way through that. My sister just graduated, um, my baby sister, uh, a year ago. And so she just moved from BC where we grew up to live with me here. And so it's a lot of fun watching her in this new season, right? Yeah. I, I remember what it was like for me, you know, when I was there, it's like, okay, this is gonna be a brand new experience and you're gonna have messes along the way. You know, you're gonna have lessons along the way. 
but this is like that impact in time when so many things just cement in in a beautiful way including friendships yeah yeah and you guys both live here too right yeah like he's so i moved here from saskatoon to go to university okay. and i just ended up staying out here because yeah. there was jobs and opportunities i met my wife and all yeah. that kind of stuff right yeah. and like yeah. he's from here and we met uh, in university in and saskatchewan then, no, here. Here, here, guys. So I went here, to, here. like, we met, well, so originally how we met was there used to be this clothing store on 17th Avenue called Bricks. Okay. And they I sold, like, hip-hop clothing and stuff. And, okay. like, we were both into the scene. And he used to work there. And I met, I went there one time, and I was trying to get kind of get plugged into the scene because I wasn't from there. And it, the guy was like, oh, you should talk to this guy. And it was yeah. him. And yeah. then we just ended up clicking and just became yeah. friends. And then that was just weird like that, so. Unexpected. Yeah. That's awesome. I just moved back from Saskatchewan. I was out there the last seven years. Okay, where about? Prince Albert, just okay, north yeah. of Saskatoon. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I, I enjoyed my time out there, but I missed Calgary. I, 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 I don't know, Calgary's a really beautiful setting here, I think. Are you, like, from here? Like, no, no, I was born in Ethiopia. Yeah. We moved to Canada when I was eight, yeah. and I grew up in BC, okay. for the most part, in the interior, in Kamloops. Um, and then I moved out here for my grad studies some 13 years ago, okay. 14 years ago now. Yeah. And since then, um, yeah, I've liked Calgary. When I went out to Saskatchewan, I was open to, you know, staying out there. But Sorry then, to interrupt. If you yeah. turn right, turn you can right turn right, right into the dealer parking lot. Oh, awesome. There's a bus stop right there, and then they That's pull up, the, you know, right. the so. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're very careful about their space, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right into here. Awesome. I am very thrilled to have had this time with you, Karen. Me too, buddy. I'm gonna show you yes. my friend's Instagram. I'll give you the awesome. thing, and if you're interested, I'll, I'll write it down you know, here. Hit us up or whatever. How do I spell it? I should check because he just changed. Like I said, he changed the tag because of that. Okay, so it's A S I M. Yes, I am. Dot. Overstand, so O V E R S T A N D S. Yeah. Ah, then right, right there. Yeah, yeah. So that's his work. That's some of his work, and then he has his website too, with like some of the stuff we've done. So I have an Instagram too, but I don't really post as much on it. Like gotcha. It's only his stuff. But yeah. if you get a hold of him and they'd be like, "Hey, yeah, I met Kieran on an Uber ride. Yeah. I'll know who you're talking about." Awesome. <laughs> Like Karen who? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, man. Well, it was very nice to meet you, man. This is by far the most interesting Uber ride I think I've ever had. I enjoyed our time, okay, too, man. man. Hope oh, to see again. Well, so when oh, uh, yes. this video, like, um, so how it, often do you upload them and stuff? Like, and on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis. So, um, I'm, I usually post on Instagram yeah. and TikTok. Okay. And then my YouTube also has the videos as well. LinkedIn, I'm getting more familiar with that one there still, but, yeah. um, but those are the primary ones. And then, yeah, so that's kind of where you'll find cool. a lot of stuff I do. All right, I'll check it out, man. Awesome. Have a good day. See you, Kenan.